we were able to raise nine books paid for cash and voluminous and insightful for that without anybody's involvement. Certainly, not very long from now, I shall arrive at my treasury. Amen. And I shall say, don't pay me anymore. That means you have the ability to create wealth at any time. And that's a pastor talking. This conference, you shall receive keys. Very soon, you shall go to your boss and say, don't pay me anything. I have ability to create my own business. Every one of you here, I said to our members recently, whatever you are doing at your workplace, you have the ability to duplicate it on your own. That's why you must engage in self-development. Create your own wealth. Everyone who met with God had a raise. So write this down. God is a razor, not an eraser. God raises people. He doesn't erase people. During this conference, you are not permitted to be erased. You are only permitted to be raised. I said you will be raised. I said you will be raised. Who believes the word of the Lord? Who believes that their bones are being filled with flesh? You are to be raised. I said you are to be raised. Everyone attempting to terminate you shall be terminated. Everybody harassing your destiny shall be harassed. Everybody assaulting you shall be assaulted. God raises and God sets. The word sets, write it down, means fixes. See, I'm going to give you some few examples and then we shall close for tonight and continue tomorrow. God raises and sets. Watch this. Mm, mm, I like this. God raises people and sets them there. So he's not raising you to bring you down. He raises people and sets. Now the word sets means fixes. Establishes. Write it down. So you know what God is doing in your life in this conference. He raises people and sets them there. Abraham was picked up, raised and set at the top. Isaac, Jacob, Daniel. Daniel ruled and outlived and outruled four, four kings. His message never became irrelevant. He lived and outlived four kings and advised all of them. Four kings came and went and Daniel was still there. People will come and go. You shall still be there. Yeah. Your amen went to Benghazi. I say you, people will rise. People will be on this. <laughs> People will come and go, but you shall still be there. He raises and sets. The word sets means fixes. Establishes. Organizes. Look, God is an organizer. He orchestrates. He plans. Plan, plans. And he schemes. That's the meaning of the word set. He raises you, sets you there. He fixes you there, establishes you there, plans for you there, organizes things in your favor there, and schemes. God is a schemer. I'm going to give you an example, and we'll close on that. You'll be so excited. On your way home today, you'll be telling everybody on the bus, I am fixed. I am. God is scheming things. All those who have been scheming against you, they are in trouble. I said after this conference, they are in trouble. Look at somebody and say, God is scheming, oh, in my favor. Look, God is a schemer. He is the one who organized Joseph's thing that he went through his, with his brothers. From the pit to the palace. Maybe if you had told Joseph to go and apply, because Joseph saw a dream that one day he would be the head his parents will bow. His brothers will bow. So maybe if God had come and said, go to the Egyptian embassy and apply for Egyptian visa, he'd have said, he told me I will be great and I believe that it will be here. So God schemed him to get him to the place. His ticket was paid for one-way ticket. <laughs> this is the most exciting one. It was his enemies that paid the ticket. <laughs> I don't think somebody heard me. 
The man didn't need to buy tickets. His brothers in their envy and jealousy bought him the ticket. Sold him into slavery. They bought him without knowing. You see, all things work together for the good of them that love him. And I rise up and shout, yes! After this conference, your enemies are going into hiding. God will scheme them out of their scheming. One way ticket to Egypt. He didn't need to go to the immigration office. He needed to go and queue like the Africans at the British Embassy. Just for one visa to come to London. He was paid for. I see God scheming on your behalf. I see God scheming in your favor. <laughs> Let's finish with the scheming ministry of God. Oh, I like the title. This afternoon as I was preparing, I put that title. I like this title. The scheming ministry of God our Father. He's a schemer. He raises and sets. He schemes. God is a schemer. It's not only the devil who is a schemer. He's the one is pretentious. The original schemer is God. God is a schemer. Example, when it was time to raise Joseph, he's the one who schemed. One way ticket. So there's no now when they buy one way tickets for you, when you they give you one way tickets from here, that means don't come back. When they catch you, some those people who, who are still working on their staff for whatever they say, go. They give you one way ticket. That means when you go, look your front. Joseph was giving one way ticket. That means don't, your, the brothers they don't want him anywhere near. See, they can kill your body, but they cannot kill your dream. They killed Martin, but they couldn't kill Martin's dream. Who has a statue being made for in Washington now? Them one they killed. Those who killed him, they have no statue. Let them say whatever they want to say about you as long as your dream is intact. You will go higher. I said you will go higher. I said you will go higher. He, glory to God. Look at the scheming ministry of God. He put a dream in Pharaoh and closed him up without interpretation. Some very strange things are going to happen in these last days to believers. God will put a heavy weight and problem on Chancellor Osborne. And on the condemn, I mean leave them, I mean whatever them. <laughs> and on the prime minister and on the cabinet ministers and they won't have a clue. And he will close them up with a problem only to wake you up out of prison. Who is going higher? Look, 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 look. I just heard God speak. You don't go higher by sitting at one place. You go higher by solving problems. God is going to create some serious problem for some people. And they will have the answer until they look for you. Until you show up, they will not sit down. Come on, say they will not sit down. Until I arrive with the solution. That's why this church is called the Leaders Factory. We raise leaders here. Leaders are those who have answers in a room full of questions. That's why it's called the Leaders Factory. We manufacture leaders, solution providers. Every one of you here who has been looked down on, you are next to provide solutions. I said you are next to provide solutions. He put a dream inside Pharaoh and closed him up without interpretation and then took the key of interpretation and gave it to a prisoner in prison. The king was on the throne. He was given a dream, but with all his throne, he didn't have the answer. The answer was in the prisoner in prison. Listen, in these last days, those who were not a people shall become their people. Who am I talking about? 
In these last days, those who were not classified as a people are going to be the people. If you are the one, rise up and say, I am the one. Those who were not a people, those who people look down on, they are the ones who will be providing the answers. Look, we are in a season where the first shall be the last. Amen. And the last shall be the first. Amen. Those who called you last, that is the last time they will call you last. Amen. I feel a prophecy coming on here. Those who called you last, the last time they called you last, will be the last time they call you last. I jump and shout and say, Amen. Come on. In that neighborhood, your ministry is about to become the first. Amen. Your ministry is about to become the first. Amen. Your ministry is about to become the solution provider. Your ministry is being taken higher. That will be the ministry they refer to. That will be your portion. Your business will be...